Aloha, my name is Dr. Stephanie Hahn, and today's little YouTube segment is directed at teachers of American Cultural Studies and English Literature. Um, first of all, if you are teaching at the K-12 level, um, I think that you have to remember, and even the first two years of undergraduate, that pr your priority is to teach the individual to critically think and to enjoy reading, okay? So um, part of this, obviously, in terms of critical thinking is understanding ideas of citations and of attribution, okay? Because we get into a lot of areas of plagiarism, right? And this moves into ethics and honesty. There's a lot of different discussions regarding this, especially within the academic arena. Um, but it is very different teaching the ins and outs of MLA and APA. Um, it's very different from teaching why you should use a comma and why you should use an exclamation point and basic quotations when you're writing a sentence. Okay, so that stuff, the questions, the basic grammar, you gotta cover that. It's primarily covered in middle school, maybe upper elementary school, a little bit in high school, okay? But by the time they hit upper high school level, they gotta know. But what I notice is there's this plethora, there's this emphasis on teaching APA and MLA style to the point where I think um, we're forgetting that the main priority of English literature class and American cultural studies class is to teach students to think and to read. It is not to get them to be perfect at MLA and APA format. That's something that they can simply learn by Googling. You will not and you will never take an exam or be in a situation where you must quickly um, put in the correct APA formatting. This really is used for longer papers and it's for used for um, uh, longer research projects. So it really does not need to be introduced much beyond an extremely basic level in, in high school. Okay, so those of you who are assigning APA and MLA um, worksheets, hours spent doing it, you're wasting your time. You're also uh, wasting your students' time and you're creating your, for yourself a really miserable grading situation. I mean, who wants to chase the underlines and the commas and the periods in that way for that kind of thing? And I'm just gonna tell you right now, I've published academic papers. I have a PhD. If you would give me a quiz on APA or MLA format, I'd probably fail. But yet I'm perfectly capable of putting and doing APA and MLA format. And I'll tell you how I do it. I go to Google and then I put in usually the OWLS Purdue Online Writing Lab, that's a great resource or something else. And I look and I scan and I see, how should I put in a citation for a blog post? Oh, this is how I do it. It might take me 15, 20 minutes, but it's not life changing. The most important thing that I have learned to do, obviously, is to write the paper to begin with, to come up with the idea. So teachers, Please stop wasting your time teaching this MLA, APA stuff until you get to a research project. You can do a very small amount of it in the upper grade levels for secondary, but you should not be killing the love of English literature or American or cultural studies history for the sake of um, knowing this kind of format. It does not add to the students interest in and curiosity about a particular subject. Okay, so this is my way of helping you as a teacher to save time and energy and to make class more pleasurable for yourself and for your students. That's it. If you want any more tips, please subscribe to my YouTube channel here. And also if you want any more information on reading, writing, literature, health, creativity, subscribe to my newsletter at drstephaniehahn.com.
the Woman Warrior Writer Newsletter, and I will see you either online or in class. Cheers. Aloha.